So today's emerging megatrends and technologies are creating trillion-dollar opportunities for disruptive innovation in how we live, work, and play. The digital transformation that many companies underwent in 2020 continued in 2021 at a rapid pace as the pandemic continued to impact the world. What does this mean for 2022? Will we continue to see headlines about customer experience and data, or will other technologies come to the forefront of the conversation? Now we're going to find out how disruptive innovation is going to impact Tesla stock in 2022. Tesla's got so much potential in the EV space, and there's a likelihood that the company will maintain its excellent performance in 2022. But first, let's have a look at all the fundamentals involved. Tesla CEO Elon Musk on January 26 announced on the company's fourth quarter earnings that Tesla is going to be shifting its product development focus to making the Tesla humanoid robot. Musk gave the world a sneak peek of the Tesla bot in August 2020. It was merely a human in a robot suit, but the CEO expects to have a prototype this year. So what this means is that people should not expect any new car models from Tesla this year. Well, Elon Musk did confirm that Tesla will not launch another car model in 2022. The question is what will actually drive Tesla stock to greater heights in 2022? Well, Elon Musk is surely known to come up with mind-blowing innovations. Will it be the humanoid robot or the full self-driving feature? We're going to find out more in today's session, so stay tuned. For starters, what does Elon Musk think about Tesla's performance? Well, 2021 was a breakthrough year for Tesla and for electric vehicles in general. In 2020, the pandemic fueled a boom that saw a tech explosion driving growth to cloud, SaaS, collaboration, devices, and basically any technology that enabled commerce, communications, and productivity. This trend created unprecedented demand and therefore 2021 became the year of the chip shortage. This shortage has caused sizable delays in production times of everything from cars to cell phones. But semiconductors are responding with large investments to ensure this problem never happens again. Intel, Global Foundries, Samsung, and TSMC have all announced multi-billion dollar investments to build new fabrication plants around the globe to improve production times. We likely won't feel the direct impact of those investments until the end of next year or even 2023. But it's critical to note the size of these investments and the role that they're going to play in our developing infrastructure for decades to come. Well, this might just be some good news for Tesla investors. And while Tesla battled, just like everyone, with supply chain challenges through the year, they still managed to grow volumes by nearly 90% last year. It was a result of ingenuity and hard work across multiple teams throughout the company. Additionally, Tesla reached the highest operating margin in the industry in the last widely reported quarter at over 14% GAAP operating margin. Lastly, thanks to $5.5 billion of GAAP net income in 2021, the company's accumulated profitability since the inception of the company became positive, which makes it a real company at this point. This is quite a milestone for Tesla. All of this happened in the midst of a pandemic and chip shortages that ravaged the entire world. Now that's quite amazing. According to Elon Musk, the supply chain will continue to be the fundamental limiter of output across all factories in 2022. Nonetheless, Tesla still expects significant growth in 2022 over 2021, which is estimated to be comfortably above 50% growth in 2022. Over time, Tesla's full self-driving is expected to become the most important source of profitability for Tesla. And Tesla also expects to achieve full self-driving this year with data safety levels significantly greater than the present. The cars in the fleet essentially becoming self-driving by a software update might end up being the biggest increase in asset value of any asset class in history. Well, we just have to wait and see. It would also have a profound impact on improving safety and on accelerating the world towards sustainable energy through vastly better asset utilization. And there have been rumors about Tesla expanding into India. It's not hard to see why Musk would set his sights on India. The company represents the world's fifth largest auto market. But that's not even the most exciting detail. The size of India's EV market is expected to grow to $152.21 billion by 2030, representing a compound annual growth of 94.4%. The demand is great, and it's only increasing. EV producers with significant production capacity will have a significant market to corner. Moreover, Tesla is taking consistent steps toward ramping up its production. The company is well positioned to secure a large portion of India's growing EV market. 
In the coming days, production will begin at the new Gigafactory located in Texas, expected to be the heart of the brand for the next few years. Tesla has even moved the headquarters from California to the very neighborhood of the factory itself in Austin, Texas. Meanwhile, the Berlin Gigafactory is still struggling with paperwork and permits in order to kick off and start European production of the Tesla Model Y, which they hope will also happen in the coming weeks. So in China, Giga Shanghai is the factory that's given the best results to the brand throughout its history. During 2021, it managed to increase even more the annual production of the cars manufactured there, even getting to further increase the figures initially established for this plant as per productive capacity. In that regard, the manufacturing rate is currently around 650,000 vehicles per year. These huge production figures from Giga Shanghai are hoped to be reproduced at the factory located in Giga Berlin, which would be apparently ready in the coming weeks to unleash its capacity. The Model Y will be made at this plant mainly for the European market, which will mean the possibility of delivering up more than 600,000 of these models annually throughout the European region. Despite this favorable data, the aforementioned supply crisis has taken its toll on Tesla and the delivery periods currently managed by the firm may even exceed a year in waiting for certain models. However, huge numbers of interested customers still continue to queue up to get their electric cars, while Tesla hopes that once the new factories open and are put into production, this bottleneck will disappear, and in a few months, they'll be able to make vehicle deliveries almost instantly. Tesla currently has an approximate annual manufacturing rate of around 1 million vehicles, at least as of 2021. For this year, 2022, and as specified by Daniel Ives on Twitter, Tesla expects to double this figure, reaching 2 million units per year, mainly thanks to the brilliant work that's being carried out at Giga Shanghai, as well as the production that is stipulated to be achieved at the new factory's pending opening, although this capacity would not be apparently reached until the end of the year. Certainly, these are not production capacity figures that look distant or impossible, even more so if we look at what's possible to achieve in China. The next few months are going to be really interesting for Elon Musk and Tesla, a company that's not expected to give up its position as the most famous electric car brand in the world. At a manufacturing and sales level, the year 2021 was very probably a milestone in Tesla's history. It has been confirmed as a world leader in the sale of electric cars and has managed to put well-established classic OEM brands in serious trouble. Despite this, were it not for the current semiconductor crisis and material shortage that many companies are suffering worldwide, they could have achieved even better figures. Therefore, it's widely foreseen that the year 2022 will be quite a positive shock for the brand in terms of production levels. Tesla has proven analysts and investors wrong before, and that could also happen this year. If you have any opinion on the same, please let us know via the comment section. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.